ALF takes credit for fires at two animal skin dealers in one communique. The Animal Liberation Front takes credit for arsons at two animal skin dealers. After mysterious fires broke out at the two animal skin dealers across two states in two months, this week the Animal Liberation Front took credit. The text of the communique is as follows. The arson at the sheepskin factory in Denver was done in defense and retaliation for all innocent animals that have died cruelly at the hands of human oppressors. Be warned the making a living of the use and abuse of animals will not be tolerated and should not be tolerated. Also be warned that leather is every bit as evil as fur. As demonstrated in my recent arson against the leather factory in Salt Lake City. Go vegan. A message response and communicated by ALF Lone Wolf. The first arson destroyed a sheepskin factory store in Denver the night of April 30th, 2010. Over 40 firefighters responded to the fire that destroyed the building. The business was uninsured. The second fire damaged the Tandy Leather Factory store in Salt Lake City sometime in the days before June 5th, 2010. The store reportedly closed for several days or more. A sign posted on the door after the fire read, closed for fire cleanup. This is a rare case of ALF claiming responsibility for more than one action in a single communique. Owners of the sheepskin factory suspected the animal liberation front. The owner's daughter stated, quote, from the beginning, that's kind of our initial thought of who was responsible for this. Predictably, regressive elements of the animal rights welfare movement in Denver, aka chicken shit cowards, were quick to condemn these arsons, pointing a finger at the animal operation front rather than the animal abusers. Ah yes, you gotta love it when animal rights activists side with the people abusing it and, and, and harming the animals in which they supposedly want to liberate and fucking protect. Hypocrites. I now understand. Sorry, well, let me restate that. I know hundreds of animal activists and I don't know anybody who thinks this setting, if I will do any good, then clearly, Dan Hanley, you don't know animal rights, liberation activists at all. Folks who are on the building will get reimbursed by their insurance company. Hey, Dan, the factory and the store doesn't have insurance. They'll get no reimbursement. And they'll be up and running in better working conditions than they had to start with. And let's see, if they don't have money from an insurance company that they don't really have insurance from, and given our current economic state, I don't think they're going to be reopening their business anytime soon. That's not doing anything for the animals that are suffering, said animal activist Dan Henley. Ah, yes, so bringing down a shop and stopping the sales of leather, which is made by animals, does not help the animals being slaughtered for leather. Um, Dan Henley, is your idea of activism holding a sign at the corner or in front of a restaurant and thinking that actually gets shit done? If so, you're an idiot. The only way to actually save animals and truly really liberate animals is through direct action. And if that means sacrificing freedom, so be it. Hanley was apparently unaware of the sheepskin factory. Arson, he referred to targeted a building that was uninsured. An employee of the sheepskin factory said, there's a business owner targeted by the ALF. You've got to keep on fighting. The recent actions for the animal liberation plan will continue the same. All I have to say on this is that to all you animal liberation activists, animal rights activists who say that the ALF and ELF and, and EWOC are aggressive and their tactics do do not help liberate animals, you're full of shit. People like myself and others who sacrifice liberty, freedom, 
and possibly our lives for the liberation of hundreds of thousands of enslaved, tortured animals are the true animal rights activists. The activists who stand on the corner and protest in front of a fucking KFC and thinking that gets shit done, you are pawns. You are being counterproductive to the hill. Sometimes extremism is needed and is warranted when mega farms and factories are slaughtering by the thousands for mass profit those entities need to be stopped not fucking protested stopped by physical actual actions if that means arson if that means sabotage then by all means it's justified because those who harm animals should be shown no remorse Period. I have no shame and no sorrow for anyone. A bisector, a mega farmer, a scientist, who in any way harms animals, if their farm is burned or, or mutilated, if their car is a target of a car bomb, if a laboratory is smashed and vandalized, I'm fine with that. In fact, I support those actions 100%. To all my brothers and sisters in, in the animal liberation movement, stay strong and know this. We are the true fighters. We are the, we are the true defenders of those who do not have a voice, those who do not speak. Until every cage is empty, every factory burned, every shop torched, we will fight. We will sacrifice our freedom and lives for those who cannot defend themselves and for those who stand against us get out of our way because we're not going anywhere and we will not stop or slow down you're either with us or against us and either way we don't care because for us this isn't about fame this isn't about right and wrong this is about the animals and their lives their safety and the protection of what we see as just and true. To all my brothers and sisters locked up because of their actions in the animal liberation movement, stay strong. We have your back. We support you. And know that your actions are very noble. Take care. Goodbye.